Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of the Chalice and what a clash of the Titans we've got here. We have got Ducky versus Andy Davo. Um, Ducky has won CCL three times, well Chalice three times. Uh, they're both in the top ten for win rate, um, all time in the Chalice. And uh, yeah, so Davo's team is far, far better than Ducky's. Uh, it's 260 TV more. Ducky's got a wizard and a bride and a babe. He's putting 40k of his own money to get the babe. I think that was definitely the right decision. I think this is very grim for Ducky here. This is. Uh, there's a huge disparity in teams. Uh, Davo's team is incredible. He's got two full claw bombers, one with tackle. He's got claw mighty on, on, on three warriors. He's got block guard on every warrior. Um, he's got a decent carrier. Not he hasn't got dodge. I guess that's the biggest thing about his carrier, and that he hasn't got dodge. But um, he's got the move up that you want. He's got two heads. He's got sure hands. Um, and this is a this is a soft LOS here so far. Yeah, it, it is an absolutely <laughs> brutal team the way it's been built. Oh. Well, it was soft, but there's a Kaz. <laughs> hello, PC. Hello, hello. Um, very fitting that this uh, this game opened with brilliant coaching. Uh, I think that's what we're definitely expecting to see from both sides. Yeah. And speaking of speaking of that, I I just uh, I had an idea here that Ducky maybe should have just could have could have would have should have maybe he could have just benched his four best players and just put mm. on trash and hid at the back and just you know gave up this drive completely. And then, you know, save his team and his wizard for, you know, this the, the second half and overtime, potentially. I wouldn't have hated that, because Davos' team is terrifying, isn't it? It's absolutely terrifying. It is truly filthy. I mean, Bill, as, as you said, I think the only thing it's missing is a slightly better ball carrier. That said, it's plus move. It's got two heads, sure hands and block. The obvious addition there would be dodge, as you said. Um, but it's still... It's still plenty good enough behind this just wall of death that Andy has built. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, beautiful chaos warriors. Some nice beastmen. There's even a, you know, just a luxury piece there. A block tackle frenzy beastman. Um, yeah. Really a, a luxury on a team like this. It, there's wonderful things that that can do, but it, it's so unnecessary, and yet so incredibly useful, and just means even the sidelines aren't safe. I'd say the only weakness of his team is lack of tackle, right? It could be exposed yeah. against against uh, elves. He only has the two tackle, but of course the claw pump tackle could could win a game by itself easily. Um, yeah, there's a lot of trash ghouls here on Ducky's team, by which I mean they're just single skill. Um, three blodge ghouls, as I recall correctly, or perhaps it's two. No, yeah, there is three correct. blodge ghouls. Yeah. And then the, uh, the ball handler, which frankly isn't a great deal better. <laughs> He's not very good at handling balls, is he? Like he's he's a he's a really good he's a really good uh, he's a really good ghoul. He's strength yeah. four and guard, but he's not yeah. really a good ball carrying one. <laughs> no, I mean it makes you wonder. Perhaps he is just sharing ball carrying out amongst all of the ghouls, um, because perhaps the strength four guard is more use elsewhere. But that does give him four blodge pieces, and maybe there there's some hope, except there really isn't. Yeah, it's like God. He's got to get. He's got to play brilliantly, and he's got to get lucky. <laughs> I think I think yeah. they are the two things he has to do. Yeah, the only the only two tackle on Andy Davo's team, of course, are that frenzy, uh, slight luxury piece I talked about, and one of his true killers does come with uh, block, tackle, mighty blow, claw, and piling on. But it wasn't built that way. It started mighty blow, then added the claw, then the piling on, before it took block, and then finally tackle. So yeah. built to kill from the ground upwards. Yeah. And if you look around at the rest of the team, it looks like that's been the case with quite a lot of them. Uh, leaning in to uh, Mighty Blow followed by Claw, and then adding the uh, the useful solid skills on the top towards the end of the run. Yeah, very nice. He can't level him up, he's on, 50, he's on 51, he's only just got blocked, so he, he can't get tackle. And he's also missing stand firms on the Warriors, isn't he? Um, yep. so like, yeah, yeah. It, it, if anything, against Elfie types, he's missing a little bit. I mean, but it's still really good having Claw Mighty on everyone and guard. Like against Woodies, for example, where the Claws aren't doing anything. Yeah, uh, I mean, a, a, Woody, a Woody team packed with AB, AG5 or AG6 and a Wizard on board could really uh, be a threat to this team. Uh, we do have a couple of those in the Chalice, so if in later rounds one of them gets hold of this, that could be a fascinating match to watch. This match... I, 
I wish I held out more hope for Ducky than I do. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's asking a lot, but I mean, it, obviously he's going to play really well. Yeah. Um, but but the problem is, it, it, he's very unlikely to play that much better than Devo can play. <laughs> you know, like yeah. that, well, well, he he can't play that much better than Devo can play. But no, he, I mean, Devo, know, Devo, one of the best coaches around as well. Um, stunning to me that he's yet to win a chalice, but. Really, he hasn't had a lot of chalice luck in the last at least seven seasons, isn't it? Uh, but possibly <laughs> yeah. a bit more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he Ooh, greed greeds. Oh, wow, greeds in on that mummy. Uh, I know why, because actually this uh, this screen he's built in front of his ball carrier, not entirely reliable unless that money mummy's taken down. Yeah. Um, there are some routes through it, though, again, what the hell is going to get through it with any ability to then take on the ball carrier, but... Plus, I mean, these these mummies, you know, chum in the water in front of a claw pommer. If you can get the two dice on it, if you can knock it over, it's as vulnerable as everything else. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that, I mean, this this one's defenceless. It's very, very bad. Mummies are very, very bad against <laughs> claw pom teams. Uh, but yeah, yes. so, and, and that, 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 that reroll is why I thought he might have gone for four rerolls. Um, because of course, bash teams do like to do like to greet things if they can. He, instead, he bought another reserve to go up to our uh, fourteen players. But uh, yep. Sage, in particular, he loves to throw in a greed reroll early on, and it, does. Uh, it can absolutely pay off uh, with you know the, the what's it called, uh, this kind of snowballing effect. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a, a unique feature of Blood Bowl too that the three rerolls seems to be where most people consider rerolls topped out. Um, in a lot of other formats, particularly facing overtime, a lot of teams, a lot of coaches would want to be carrying four. Um, but Davo's team, of course, very unlikely to see overtime. Yes. Simply because there won't be enough players left on the pitch. So either it's won at the end of a normal time, or it's lost. Yeah. But I'd still like it. <laughs> Interesting that Ducky goes for the uh, hit on the warrior and not the uh, mm. not the claw pommer just so he can foul the warrior. I'm, yep. I do not like that. I really do not like that. No, I think it's um. Okay, I'm going to try and be positive this season, so I'm going to say that's an attempt at getting the high roll going. That if he can remove a big, big strong piece, uh, I mean, it did mean that he had two assists on that foul. Uh, then he can come back for the others later. Um, plus, perhaps a piece that Andy wouldn't have been tempted to throw the apo at. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeking reasons because I didn't like it either. Yeah, no. Um, but uh, and also interesting is is the fact that you know, yesterday of course we watched El Dudorino versus Bright, and Bright is a very good player, and he just randomly put his sidestepping wolf on the sideline to get surfed. Um, yes. So, yep. so you know, if if Devo could do something like that, right? Everyone can make yep. like a massive. Absolutely. Massive I mean, error. then El Dudorino in in seeming control in overtime left his uh, cage very exposed to a one die, and then uh, was quite lucky not to lose his ball because of it. Ah, so, so uh, uh, okay. So he did get the hit on the claw pommer in the end. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's a lot better. Yeah. Um, Stick as eggs, I can still say that I didn't like it while still looking for the reasons why that might have been chosen by the coach. I think that's that's what I'm trying to be more like. Yeah. So, I mean, this was I'm a leaving. nice turn, wasn't it? Four players down. Yeah. Could have removed yeah, that Yeah, absolutely. Like yep. uh, I mean, I, near here. I'd have to have longer to have a look at it. I did wonder if there was a way through to the ball carrier, but instead just, uh, just halting this offence with a lot of knockdowns, trying to look for that chip on the piece... I didn't. I didn't hate how all of that worked out in the end, yeah. uh, and the chaos probably are just going to have to stabilise this turn. You can't see them really making a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. There is a route through the zombie and swapping sides to the other side, but it's going to mean a lot of pieces just standing up on the mummy if that's the way he chooses to go, I, I or trying to knock the uh, trying to knock the zombie over with his only um, blockless piece, no, he's which does not that's yeah, what he's, he's going to do. He's, yeah, he's absolutely going to claw pop the mummy. I'm just trying to build some tension in that doesn't really need to be there. <laughs> he's claw popping the mummy. <laughs> um, yes, I mean, Muppet, people have heard me for many years say that, that Frenzy, if not used incredibly carefully and well as a nega trade. Um, I, like I said, it is a bit of a luxury piece, that Beastman. It does give you some fear of the sidelines. 
Andy Davo famously does love a surf. That's, I think, fair comment that. We've seen it all a, a thousand times. Um, but it's there is enough other stability and solidity here that I think that piece mostly isn't going to be asked to hit just to assist. Yeah, yeah, it's, an, it's a nice weapon to have, especially in CCL where, like, a lot of the opponents aren't very good. Like, you know, saying that Frenzy is a nega trait, that's often more against better coaches, isn't it? Like, you know, Duck yes. is going to put sort out these things to make Frenzy traps. He's going he's gonna, to, you know, expose Absolutely. the weakness of the Frenzy, whereas a lot of bad players are just going to give him free four dice surfs. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, and even Andy finds it easier to beat teams that aren't on the field. That's a universal in, in this lovely game of Blood Bowl. Yes. No carnage. There has been a Kaz. Uh, Ducky is down to 10 players, but it was regened. Um, so, you know, there's a, a marginal advantage to the all right now. Yeah, so a block zombie was uh, was killed on the line of scrimmage in the first turn. But it oh, is nice now on the reserves bench, bench waiting to come back on. Yeah, he, he could chain to save his uh, to save his frenzy. Yeah, that's what he's doing. GFI yeah. is this guy movement five? Oh, was that GFI? Was, oh, that was the GFI in there. Okay. So yeah, he's he's just chaining for the for to be able to hit. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's chaining to maximise his hits rather than to move pieces off and stop the frenzy being trapped. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, he can now, presumably, he'll take the mummy down first. And then there's all sorts of ways that this frenzy can still get four very safe hits. Yeah. On one of those, what I call the trash ghouls, just the, uh, the very simple blodge ghouls. Of course, those are, you know, that's the first and best skill to put on a ghoul is block. And that mummy's out. Yep. So I'm going to have another run of that. I'm going to try and put a, a note of surprise in my voice. And the mummy's out. Wow. He's so big and so strong. How did that happen? We didn't expect to see that, did we, Jim? No, it was it was it was a 75% knockdown and about five times out of 60 removing. But hey, it happened. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, massive equity shift. <laughs> what inducement? The inducements are a wizard, a bribe, and a babe. I mean, I have to say, if I was Ducky right now, already I would be looking not so much at stopping this drive, unless, obviously, if a nice opportunity arises, you go for it. But trying to isolate two or three of the Chaos players, pull them out of the pack, take them down and foul them out. I think that's probably what's left to be achieved in this drive already, yeah. uh, as Ducky heads into turn three. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's rough, isn't it? He can he can blitz this guy with mighty blow, get the assist in, knock him down with mighty blow, get a two, get a one assist foul in. It's rough, isn't it? That's that's the thing. Maybe he should just go for the ball. You know, maybe he should just. You know, like if you can make it about the ball, then at least. That'd be great. Yes, yeah, and then there needs to be some defensive and... movements from the chaos, but. Yeah. The problem with going for the ball, Jim, is you're going to have to expose a lot of pieces to risk. Yeah. And then the turn after, there's a fair chance you've got two or three players left on the pitch afterwards. Yep, that is the problem. It's it's really tough. <laughs> yeah, it is. Now, there are some, uh, some nice chain angles pushing perhaps the frenzy piece out. Um, taking the selective hits that you can. Uh, the... Uh, the naked except for guard beastman uh, looks a nice target here. Yep. Get the mighty blow hit on him. Yeah, so this is the angle I was talking about. Now, what does he choose to do? <laughs> oh, actually, it's the both down, but that's still that's brilliant. He's still got a chip. There's still one less, uh, one less guard. Now, it may not feel like that's a vital piece, but the numbers game does come into it here. Despite the worst pieces on the undead side, just the less chaos they are, the more they can't get just all over this undead team uh, and really get the hits in they want, the more they do have to think a little bit about ball protection, that sort of stuff. I mean, yeah, Frank Furter, it's not going bad at the moment, right? He's only down two players in three turns. It's actually going fine uh, this half. Yeah, it, it's it could easily be worse. Isn't it? Yeah, it's just the potential yeah. of, of all of a sudden he could be down loads of players. But right now, it's it's quite all right. And he's, he can dodge out this zombie and then he's only taking one claw palm hit, no claw hits. But of course, Devo could find a push into an extra hit. 
course, it is pretty brutal that one of the pieces gone is one of his mummies. But I mean, as as we've said already and, and hinted strongly throughout, the mummy's not actually as vital in this game as they would be in virtually any other matchup. Yep. Um, Devo has so much strength, so much guard, that really they are almost no different to a zombie in some situations. No, it's a nice player, this isn't it? He's gonna he's gonna blitz. He's gonna blitz this strength four into the mummy and get an extra hit on the mummy. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one problem with this shape is it allows the mummy to be chained onto uh, onto his guard, guard, claw, mighty block, warrior, wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I suppose the big question to me here is: Does the tackle claw pommer uh, claw pom when it hits the strength four? Yes. I guess yeah, I think the answer is yes, but uh, if it does, it might just expose it to some risk. Yeah. And of course, we, we can't guarantee it'll go down. It is only about 55% to get a pal. Yeah. Uh, he's only got two re-rolls. He probably can't afford another greed one. And actually, to get that angle, he would have to GFI, wouldn't he? Because he's down here, he'd have, to, he'd, have to have, he'd have to hit down. So he would have to yeah. GFI, yeah. so he might not even get the chain, but I think, he wants, I think he'll want the chain. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll definitely want the chain. You could come with the frenzy piece, and then there is a way that, oh, as well as the chain, the tackle is standing up. He doesn't have to GFI. He's an idiot. Yeah, no, he doesn't. So no, so it's an easy, easy play. This, I guess, he's got to care about the ball a little bit. But yeah, yeah, much. absolutely. <laughs> uh, it, it needs to be safe. It doesn't actually need to advance. I think the reason it's advancing is it's safer there than it is where it is. There's just a chance of a 5 plus off with this uh, plus strength zombie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could Sorry, 4 plus off, isn't it? So yeah. it's 50% to get 2 die on the ball if he stays where he is. Yeah. So he does have to think about a little cage for it somewhere. So he doesn't go but he isn't. Chair. He's going straight for the hit instead. And giving up the chain chance. That's interesting, yeah. uh, and I, I'm going to agree with you, that's not as good as it could have been. Both taking the hit before the ball was secure, uh, because I would certainly take a 50% chance of hitting the ball here, yeah. if I was ducky. Um, and secondly, in not getting the chain that would have pushed the mummy on, onto two claw a guard mighty pieces, which I think would be a, a good thing to have done. Uh, PC, so you're a, was a little bit. You're a little bit like gravelly with the uh, microphone. I don't know if you. Okay, let me unplug and replug. Didn't get the power there. If he'd hit back the other way, he would have got a three D, wouldn't he? If he'd hit with this guy in there, he would have had a three D. Interesting. He pushes out. In chat, two. if that's any better. That is better. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Glorious. That's the politest I've heard, Jim. There you go, Tim. I'm trying. <laughs> so we still haven't properly secured this ball, Jim, have we? No. He did push I mean, off, at the though. Moment, he didn't we take are... the final hit, so he is going to bring this guy back around a little bit. But... He, yeah, he's got to, because at the moment, <laughs> no, he's reinforcing in front. So I'm taking this uh, this 4-plus all day with this strength yeah. 4 zombie. And on, he's not even in the stall, like the stall square, is nope. he? You know, like it's a 4-plus, 2-plus to knock him on the edge and have a yeah. decent chance that the ball goes somewhere I might be able to recover it. Yeah, exactly. I, like I think this. he's just going to wall up in front and then he's going to go for this 4-plus. <laughs> yeah, I like this a lot. I'd even stand the zombie up, um, just the one that's downed you know, in the middle yeah. of that pack of evil doom. Just to give Andy something to play with uh, once I take this ball carrier down. Yep. He's got three re rolls. It's definitely worth a three roll into this for this four plus two plus. Yeah. The way he's played the turn, you know he's gone for it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No. He's, uh, he's <laughs> double screened <laughs> the sideline. Still got a ghoul available. No, he's not taking it. Jim, why is he not taking it? I don't know. Oh, I'm upset about that. Oh, no, PC. Uh, I think it was a lovely chance to hit one of the nasty claw palm pieces. There we are. I'm being positive. <laughs> Didn't hit the claw palm. He hit the claw mighty. I love that play. The oh, Jim, it was shit wrong. Side I'm side sorry. Side. That was... I've been positive. <laughs> I've tried to be positive. But there was a four plus, two plus there to hit the ball carrier onto the sideline. Good chance the ball scatters out. It's in rain anyway. Why didn't he do that, Jim? I don't know. I 
don't I've know. done my best. I've, I've really tried. Oh, you got a removal instead, though. Classic ducky. Well, that's great. <laughs> if you want to be part of Team Positive, imagine just if imagine the removal that had been, been on this carrier. Yeah. Stop yeah. Imagine yeah. The ball carrier. The yeah. Imagine. This way, and he picked it up. And it was straight yeah, off. lovely. <laughs> because if it does go off the edge, there's you know, even straight on, straight in, there's about a one in three that it goes beyond the, the Chaos Warriors, and the ghoul can pick it up. If it goes backwards towards Ducky's pieces, then Ducky's got the ball. If it goes backwards towards the Beastman's touchdown line, then, you know, it's a running race between Ghouls and Chaos Warriors. I think that's crazy. Yeah, and I think, I think that was a big chance to swing this game. Yeah, and especially, like, um, you know, I kind of said pre-game, I think before the YouTube video, and that I think this is really desperate for Ducky, and Ducky's got to recognise that and maybe take riskier shots than he yeah. normally take. And, and a four plus two risky, plus with re-roll, Jim, that's not yeah. that big a risk. That wasn't even that risky, no, exactly. And it was on the sideline. If it was here, fair enough not going for it, you know? And yeah, I mean, you've, you've got about... Dodge, fair enough not going about a, for better it. Better than 40% chance of getting there for two die with your re-roll in hand. Oh, I, yeah. And as you said, the one weakness of this ball carrier is no dodge, so it doesn't matter that it wasn't tackle even. It, yeah. I think it's crazy he didn't take that chance. Perhaps he yeah. just didn't see it. Yeah. However, you know, still a very good coach, and we all miss things. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I can't, I can't look for a positive in what he did. I think he just missed a cracking opportunity there. I'm afraid to say. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's thinking with four turns. You know, with this wall and with a wizard, maybe he's thinking he can just stop the score and and get in at nil nil. And if he gets in at nil nil, he'll definitely think he can score. But he can score on his own drive and win one nil. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he's he's got enough on the bench. He's got a you know still got one of the trash ghouls there. Um, there's some fodder to come in to replace because virtually everything he's got's fodder. I mean the whites are nice, ish. Yeah. And there's that you know strength for ghoul, but that was such a chance to really swing how this drive was going without needing to use the whiz. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I think the payoff was just too great. I, I definitely really could see not going for it if he was one square to the left. Or if he had dodged. Yes. Either yeah. of those situations. Yeah. Either of those. But he's in the wrong square. There is no screen on him, which they so easily could have been. I mean, it wasn't good play from Andy to leave it. And it wasn't good play from Ducky not to take it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't it wasn't sidestep Wolf on the sideline bad. But uh, it was definitely, I think, a mistake. And I think he should have gone for it. No, Sol, I'm not flinging shit. I'm saying that two players of this quality, leaving that shot open wasn't great from Andy, a player I expect more from, and who I think plays lovely blood bolt, as I've consistently said about him, and you can find many an example of me doing exactly that. Yep. And now and um, now he's solved the problem, right? He's seen it. Yeah, Andy's he's seen, seen it and solved it. Well, it. He, and Andy has checked, taken it out. Yeah, he's, com he's completely ended it for the rest of the match. <laughs> so there you go. And that, he was just he was just joking, Sol. There, Pedro is. A... Okay, I mean, I think he was joking, Sol, because I don't know if you were here at the start. I've been trying very hard to be positive this season, and I, I just saw something I couldn't be positive about. And I'm sorry to all those people that were enjoying me trying to be positive. <laughs> now, does Ducky fireball here? In the rain, uh, there's. Okay, we do have a ghoul sort of nearby, and it's not on tackle. I mean, I wouldn't fireball. If I did anything, it would have to be a bolt. I don't see the fireball having a lot of value. There's four pieces that he'd need to take two to three of them down, but he does. He takes all four down. And he, he gets all four. Brilliant. That's, <laughs> and chips the ball carrier. Well, why why risk a four plus when you're carrying nuclear weapons? That's... From a Davo no, point of view, it. at least it's bounced into one tackle zone, which requires... Yeah. A tiny, tiny bit of work to solve. He's got these three round the side. Oh, there it is. It's solved. Yeah, um, yeah that's the thing. I, I didn't really didn't hit <sighs> the fireball though. Like obviously it was the best. It was the luckiest fireball he could have possibly got. Yeah, that's. I don't love the follow up there. I think I think it's okay because you you want to get somebody around this side anyway, don't you? Three, four, five, six. You can stand there and make the screen with him. I mean, I, I think the plus strength ghoul could have been on the square that that zombie's now in, and the zombie could have stayed on, on the chaos warrior that's gone down, and then I'm picking up with the trash ghoul that's beside the mummy, personally. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm running like hell. 
He didn't really move left though, did he? You don't want to GFI with that. With no, that I just stayed exactly where it hit from. I don't know. I think GFIing to to base the claw pummel is the best play. I think that's the best play. It's just risky. Okay, GFI. yeah, yeah. No, that would have been even stronger. You're right, because that's the only piece that couldn't possibly get near the ghoul when I pick it up and run like hell. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, because it, it, it does need to come down this sideline, doesn't it? Because it has to slightly wiggle around the dead bodies from the fireball yeah. to get to the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. He's putting guard in now. This guy couldn't come around here. Sure yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty strong. If he takes him out to make it better for the white one two three four five six yes yeah, so that makes it better for the white the white can potentially yeah, really GFI does. here oh he fills the first one I, I think you need to get the ball first it's a four plus I think right? you go for the ball just because it saved you it, it got you in a yeah. bad spot as well didn't it that yeah it, it meant that GFI wasn't needed and it, you needed the reroll for this four plus though you ducky doesn't but I would have done <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, you could have even, like, you could have double GFI this, to make it a full screen. That's a beautiful example there. He had no reroll. The 4 plus had to be done. The 2 plus didn't. And I'm sure people in the chat are thinking, well, why did he risk that 2 plus with no reroll? But if you look, that claw palm with tackle now cannot hit. It can only base. Yep. And sometimes you've got to have the nerve to do a 2 plus without the ball, without the cover. But you didn't need the second one. <laughs> the second one was to stop the 4 plus 3 plus, which. Yeah. The second one was, I mean, it, it, it helped to stop the 4 plus 3 plus, but the 4 plus 3 plus didn't have tackle. I was less worried about it. He could have 4 3 2 2 Okay, okay, all right. You certainly needed the first one, though. I, I yeah. loved the first one. Yeah, me I'm too. a little less certain on the second one. I think he shouldn't have moved this guy. I think he had to move the ghoul first, and then this guy can come. And it's either no GFI here, or if you had the reroll, you can do the double GFI to make it really tight, couldn't you? But I think you, I think you move the ghoul first and then white second. I think that was a, I think that was a, an ordering error by Ducky with moving. The yeah, me too. White first. Plus, I absolutely wanted that re-roll available for the pickup. Yes. And the fact that it went on the GFI I meant that pickup was a bigger risk than I felt it needed to be. Yeah. Uh, because that pickup pretty much seals that he doesn't score, even if he kills that ghoul. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can all agree the first GFI was definitely needed. Yeah. Uh, without any cover. The second one, I, I may not have done it. But I, I'm not going to blame him for it because it did, as you say, mean that the, the worst that could happen was a basing. <laughs> now, now as, the ghoul didn't, as the ghoul didn't even stun itself, this is by no means over. <laughs> yeah. So this white can one, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI to one D him. That's not looking very good, is it? No, I think again, we see if there's what comes and tries to get cover on the ball or pick the ball up. Failed yeah, dodge. okay. That could free the ghoul. No, really. Yeah, no, we just we pick up on the ghoul that failed the GFI and run, don't we? One, two, three, yes. four, five, six. Yeah, we can get into, if we do the GFIs, he's got to do two GFIs to hit. So we do need to solve the problem of the Tackle, Claw, Pom, Monster, Beastman still. But the first thing we do is just get the ball as far away as is humanly possible. After, of course, we do a hit with the mummy that chips something. Breaks AV9 and takes it off the pitch. Um, I'm going to say I think Ducky's had some great dice. He has, I mean, yeah. Viable, obviously, but even, even just some of the hitting since turn two or three has been... Very, very nice for him. Yeah. Not sure about this hit. Like, I see the point, but I feel he could have tried to dodge and, you know, go somewhere. And yeah, I'd, I'd rather have him further down the pitch, but... Yeah. Now, surely this ghoul just has to risk this 4-plus and run. Yeah, you've got to do that first. You've just got to... There's, there's nothing else that makes any sense. The, I mean, the white... Oh, one Oh, okay. Well, the one die makes perfect sense, of course. It does. It, it does free up the plus agility yeah. piece. Yeah. I think the only place that needs to go is around the other side of the claw pommer. Yes, yes, he has to stick on him. Glorious. Oh, no, I oh won't God. Give him <laughs> Ducky's a man. Until I'm victorious. Wow. All right, so he's going to double up. Okay. okay, so he's blitzing. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind that. Defend. Now yeah, we yeah. can double tap this, uh, this claw pommer. Yep. Yep, all right, that works. 
<laughs> okay, yes. we're picking up on the AG4 instead and okay. throwing one of the trash ghouls under the under the bus. That's it's all right, but we're not going to get as far away. Yeah. But he rolls a three on the pickup. Ducky's a genius. <laughs> yeah, what do I know? I'm a fool. I've always said I'm still learning this game. <laughs> now, we could actually take a step backwards towards the claw pommer, making the dodge out even harder. Yeah. yeah nope, we're staying right three. there. Still a 4 3. And uh, thank you very much, Milo Mind Ben, for staying fantastic for three months. Absolutely glorious. Um. Thank you very much. Yes, Frank Berta, three times chalice winner dice right there. <laughs> yeah. Davo's face is really sad now. That's a point. I haven't got the uh, the Davo face cam watch up. I am going to go silently onto his stream just to report on how much uh, face touching and, uh, and sadness there is. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, no, I, I feel really sorry for him because, you know, he's a fabulous coach. He deserves a good run in chalice. And this team absolutely looked like the one that could provide it to him. Yeah, there's some full-on face touching. We've got four fingers up in front of the mouth. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible for Ducky, isn't it? Because, like, there's it is. no recovery. Uh, no. Like, you know, so there's our nothing, way... There's nothing here at all. No, our way of going for the goo, the goo pickup, if you fail it, you're still in a lot of trouble. Uh, and this way, by doing that 1D, it did it did let him do a lot of safe plays, where even if he'd failed yeah, this pickup, it, it wasn't that yeah. bad. No. I mean, looking back on how, what his plan was for the whole turn, I, you know, I do think it was fine. Yeah. He had the reroll to cover that one die. There wasn't a great many because of the rain again. Not a great many pickup options. Davos one ball carrier, as we said, it's out for the game. So, oh. yep. So now it's just oh, one G he... fine. He's safe, completely safe. Isn't yeah, it? it's it's this is horrific for Davo. He just should have moved yeah. in and play first, right, in case he double ones it and gets injured. Yeah. Okay, the, the neck has gone to maximum degree of sympathy, which is, of course, 17 degrees off the vertical. <laughs> oh, he's gone off camera as well. He, I, I don't blame him. This has been awful. I, I feel really sorry. Genuinely. I know I'm oh, gonna slightly surf. making jokes about it, but I, I feel really sorry for Andy. Yeah. One of the best coaches on Blood Bowl 2, a really nice guy, a fantastic caster, really knows his Blood Bowl. And he just doesn't get the dice in Chalice. He can, Sai tell him he can, and, uh, you know, du Ducky is down a strength four. That's all that Ducky's down. Um, Devo is, well, okay, and that's not true, because he could be down the mummy. Down the mummy is terrible. He could be down a ghoul as well. There's only going to be one KO roll. Yeah, but of course, he, he also knew he was going to get a mummy KO'd, so he did bring a babe. Yeah. So there's going to be only one roll on it, but it's... Um... It is a three plus to get the mummy back. Oh, there's the bribe gone. Or oh, does he not? Does he not bribe? Keep it's a trash piece, but it is his dirty player. I maybe wouldn't, so that That's I can throw question. bribes in the second half. Yeah, I would have fouled with not dirty play if it was possible. No, know. he doesn't do the bribe. That's uh, he decides that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think being able to foul all the second half is quite powerful, isn't it? Even without. Yeah, me play. too. Well, it's even the risk of that fouling uh, to try and keep the claw palming under control, but I don't think it will. And it was a bit of a hopeful foul, that, let's face it. it there wasn't a lot of assists in there. It, it wasn't like it was an automatic on the armour break. Uh, he did, in fact, completely snake it with a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Uh, Ducky, Ducky being full-on diced. Ducky's down maybe should whiz He's used the whiz, Frankfurt. That's, that, that's, what, that's what got him the, the turnover and brutality. <laughs> um, now, other than leaving that ball carrier exposed on the effect on the uh, on the turn that the ducky decided not to go for that, I'm going to use the word decided. Um, I don't think Davo's done much wrong. No. Just that fireball was brutal. Yeah. And then everything came up ducky for a couple of turns. I mean, I quite like the fireball because he was really weak on that side, and there was three. He was. Players he was. Come round. I really like. I really quite like the fireball. That's why I said it. I was. But happy it did. That it I did need two chips around. out of the four for it to be really, really useful. Um, yeah. I mean, not only did it get two knockdowns out of four, but it, <laughs> it took out the ball carrier and knocked down all four. That's. Yes. It was. It was a that very, is, very yeah. lucky wizard. Incredible. That's a one in sixteen to knock all four down. Yeah. Um, and then adding the takeout of the ball carrier on top of that, that's, you know, there's some nice dice in that. Yeah. But it, I, I, that, by the way. Yeah, again, I'm going to say I was wrong, and it, it was a decent time to fireball. But, wow. Just wow.
Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, he's killed a guy. It's a block zombie. And it does look like it's actually dead. It is actually dead. It's a proper Both death dead. dead. Yeah, so depending on KO rolls, this could be not great for Ducky. He could, he could have no mummies. There's a one in nine of no mummies. Oh, there's Dub Skulls! He could just get a core bomber killed. No. <laughs> well, at this Imagine point, you can. Uh, yeah. Imagine that. He's all of a sudden he's got four players on the field. <laughs> yeah, at this point you can smell them coming sometimes, can't you? <laughs> he's got four players but left. Really importantly, those four players also have the ball, though, Jim. Yes. Yeah, but it's amazing, isn't it? Like there was two removals in the first three turns. He wasn't doing anything to him, and now all of a sudden there's no one left. But yeah, as you say, the ball is the most important thing. And it's also why we saw him extend his bench. It may be a wall of trash, but he does still have a wall of trash to raise in front of this Chaos Army. Yeah. And now, worst case scenario for Ducky is overtime, isn't it? Pretty much. Yep. Yeah, Very you can't unlikely. see two scored from the Chaos. There's, you can turn Ducky over once, but... Oh, those oh, are yes. huge and not oh, great I KO rolls, Jim. In. News just in from the bench. Victorious. One of those mummies. I will defend. Oof. I will defend. Oh, and the warrior back and the guard are back. I wish so Ducky incredible the kill rolls. Sorry, who's yeah. sleeping on whose mummy here? Oh, well, baby. the only thing that Davo is down for the second half is a single trash, unskilled beastman and hope, joy, and belief in himself. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like I joined in. Yeah, sounds like I joined in at the right time. Someone's sleeping with someone's mom. Sounds like Ducky sleeping with Andy's mom and her mummy. And then uh, Davo's losing his first round game. Sounds good. Jim, can you go live in Discord so I don't have to open the client? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, to give you a brief recap while that happens, Skuro, uh, Andy Davo secured the ball, started driving forwards, took out a lovely... Um, Trash Zombie on his first turn was all over these uh, these undead, took out a mummy, just KO, but took it out in the second turn. Things were looking very, very bleak for the undead. Uh, there was a turn which I didn't love, where Andy Davo left his ball exposed to a 4 plus, 2 plus for 2 die, and he was standing right by the sideline, so there's a good chance it bounced out in rain. But Ducky chose not to go for it. I say chose, it was a huge mistake he should have done. But then the turn afterwards, he decided he did need to take that Strength 4 Zombie down, killed it, took it out of the game, but put his ball into a position that Jim thought was a natural for the fireball. I thought it was a bit of an ask. There were four players. I thought it had to take at least two down to make it a good chance. The fireball took all four players down and killed the ball handler. I say killed. It was a, a serious injury. It's out for the game. Uh, no, he apothed it, didn't he? Yeah, he apothed it. Yeah. yeah, he did. So he apothed it as his only ball carrier. So he has got it back. Uh, but that's where the apo went. Uh, then... With enormous number of pieces to move, uh, Ducky took a slight risk that I, I wasn't crazy about. But as Jim pointed out, it did lead to some really nice positions for everything else afterwards. He secured the ball, uh, did two go for it without any rerolls to cover them, failed the second. But, and he still wasn't able to get much back that actually troubled him. Swept the ball up on his plus agility white and ran away to score. By the time he scored, there were a grand total of four undead left on the field. Well, I gotta say, I gotta say, it looks good for Ducky, but I, you never like being the undead with only one mummy, especially against the team with a lot of a lot of strength four and a lot of guard. Uh, I, I is, absolutely this, agree with you. Yeah, still agree. It's still a game here from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Do you like pushing down the sideline here? I like I like pushing down the sideline here. I like I like mummy. Yeah, well, and just I mean, you say that, Jim, but of minutes. course, I was expecting you would like the uh, the withdrawn offense option here. <laughs> Being one nil ahead, surely he should just pick the ball up and run away, isn't that? <laughs> Not so good I, I with skeletons. I, 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 okay. I, like, I don't like withdrawing with undead. I mean, you're putting a lot of a lot of pressure on your ghouls to not want to nine at some point. Well, yeah, I don't I like really withdrawing like at all, but some people insist on it. Yeah, yeah. I really like the fast score because you fast, and <laughs> like, you know, some of your players are fast, and so many of his players are shit. And what do we got? Two KOs. And yes, for anyone oh, paying attention in the chat, I did just get a sex joke past both the other people in the booth and neither of them realized it. No, no, I was there. I was there with that's why you have kids and I don't. Oh! <laughs> Look how good. Happy fast score. Lovely, lovely response. Oh, what a fantastic retort. 
It's, it's a hard pleasure to, get them to have all in. <laughs> this. This is why we're the absolute A team for commentary. <laughs> oh, now you have to fast score. I I thought that mummy was was Kaz, not KO'd. You got to fast score, get the mummy back. Yeah, I think he had to. Yeah. Imagine if he's so fast scoring. With the with the with the pitch invasion and well done, spectators. You have just kicked Andy in the nuts. Uh, after the game, kicked him in the nuts in the first half. Yeah. Uh, now I love the fast score. Um, the space is there. They're not coming back next turn either. Most of them are standing up and not being able to move. Uh, suddenly, my numbers disadvantage can be completely mitigated for. Uh, I'm coming with that ball, and I don't see how you're stopping me. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take some uh, some rain magic on the ghoul pick up here. He doesn't have sure hands, does he? He can. Uh, he'll, he'll probably he'll probably white pick a bit. Won't yeah. Oh, God, he's got if, four white. Yeah, four white. Yeah, I was gonna say. How about if he goes with the AG4 score? Would you like that? <laughs> Didn't see him. You don't expect the AG4 white all that often. You don't, no. To be fair. I mean, his, his team is, is garbage. The, the, the problem is, is his team is garbage. It's yeah. just a yeah. team of Skellingtons. But against a team yeah. of, of four standing players, that's still quite good. It's yeah. it's very useful in this. Although he didn't manage to take out the, uh, the frenzy piece there, which mm. does make this advance up the right a little trickier. Oh, he's not tagging him with the Skellington. I, I would have tagged him with the Skellington. Yeah, I'm not loving that. I think the uh, the strength for ghoul is going to go up and do that job. At least screen it off. Yeah, it's going to be like here or something. Yeah, screen. Is he coming up here to foul? Yeah, he's fouling that claw mighty. Mm -hmm. It's ducky. He was fouling something. Yeah, 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 of course he is. Yeah. <laughs> Doing it before anything else, though. That's a little interesting. He still has a bribe in hand, Skuro. Uh, okay, uh, he got okay. off for a foul in the first half and decided not to use it. Well, and we theorized still... it was so that he foul in the second half and not care. And he yeah. did foul without caring. Yeah. It's still a 1 in 18 of it being the end of turn, of course, even using the bribe. Uh, but that didn't happen. And the edge three, no problems in the rain. On stand firm, yeah. so that's why he's holding the side with a stand firm. Yeah. There uh, were some accusations that he was a witch. Uh, when the ball was loose, there was a ghoul that could have picked up on a 4 plus last time, and instead he decided to come with the agility 4 and picked up because the roll was a three. <laughs> this time, he realized it wasn't going to be a three. He knew that it would be fine to do it on a four plus, and because it was a five, of course it was. Yeah. Um, those are the skills that win you chalices. Absolutely. Wow, what a game this is, and I've only been here for a turn and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Store, yeah. Andy got turned over and then roughly violated. Um, turned over in the way one normally does in prison. It's, it was not pleasant to see. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, Ducky's got a pillow with. <laughs> well, I guess I guess Andy's the one with a pillow now, isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> but there's a pillow involved somehow. How's the fame? That's a good question, Volk. Um, Ducky's probably got quite good uh, fan factor due to like fifteen one zero. So he's got a, a uh, bit of a yes, screen. The, the, fame, the fame is plus one for, for Ducky. All the fans are on his side here. But in a, in a reference that I'm pretty certain Skuro won't get, uh, someone has just approached uh, Davo and said, you're my wife now, Dave. Oh, yes. I can't say I do get that. <laughs> oh, it's a brilliant TV show, The League of Gentlemen. And uh, I love it. And there's a, like there's a superhero, a like the, the the superhero comedy. That's League of no, no. Extraordinary Gentlemen. Is this just League <laughs> okay. of Gentlemen? And, uh, okay, right. This was yeah. a, a very alternative, very dark comedy. <laughs> yeah. yeah cool. And uh, a very a very uh, dodgy character, isn't he, Papa Lazarou? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Not politically correct. I don't think you'd Not get away with having him. No, him. in fact, deeply and defensively racist. But. Um, <laughs> Annoyingly, genuinely quite funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. That happens funny. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so good. So yes, so obviously it. having the ball in the strength four here is incredible. Like, the, yeah. obviously the temptation was to get it on the edge four, but then you know it's super easy for people to get two dice on you. Then isn't it? This way, it's really hard to get two dice on him. Um, yeah, you know, even people tails. And if he if he pops if he pops this in uh, if he slips it home, then uh, we're done. And uh, Davo has been truly rogered. 
Yes. Do, do you move the Skellington here first and then Blitz with a Mighty Blow? That's the question. Um, Skellington get here, which I quite like. Then you've got the full screen, haven't you? I mean, I guess the... the yeah, because he can't get there. Yeah, so I think you put Skellington here for the screen and then GFI Blitz with your uh, white. That's what I Now, this yeah. is... Yeah, absolutely. This is so key. This this white has to be in exactly the right spot. No. Uh, or else he does not agree. Hurts. No, he doesn't care at all. No, I really like that. Wow, okay. This has got the potential to go wrong, hasn't it? But he doesn't. Yeah, it has got the potential to go wrong, but it's fine. It's still we have seen some ducky fouls. We've also seen what? What? what uh, we advanced can clear because, this. because the, I'm struggling to finish that sentence. We advanced because he can clear a himself. hole here to the white. He or definitely goal, can. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. You can even get a two D if he makes a lot of dice. Lot, there's a lot I don't like about this. I didn't like the fall That's an easy one die with tackle, surely. You just need to knock over a blockless Skellington. Yeah, he can, no, if, with two extra it. GFIs, he can make it a 2D, too. Yeah. With that, yeah, with that there's, guard. there's a lot lot here that's that's yeah. really a strange choice. Um, I can see him going there to like defend against these guys coming back and stuff. Yeah, I didn't mind the white front. position. I, I didn't love the blockless blitz, but I didn't mind the white position that it gave him as well. But how do you justify following up there? How do you follow uh, up this did? Uh, what's this? Yeah, he can't follow there. No, it doesn't matter because it would oh, be, be a dodge anyway because of this guy. Oh, would it? Oh, yeah, yeah I guess it would. Yeah. yeah, because of the other one. So it, it, that's fine. But that I'm afraid that is another move I cannot look at a positive for. Uh, no, no. I didn't like some of the other bits of it, but the follow-up was just inexcusable, I'm afraid. I can only say it's just a misclick there. He's not going uh, for not... it! He's not going for the hit on the ball. Well, wow. got it. <laughs> How do you not I go thought for there, that? See, I thought there were two blocks to be thrown in the bottom to clear a full hole with no dodges so he could bring guard in and 2D the ball carrier. Yeah, I I did see that too, Skuro. It did need two knockdowns Fren to do it. I guess the frenzy. Yeah, I guess the frenzy. He would have needed to push and then knock down though to keep that Either square way, open. In yeah. this situation, I felt coming up this uh, this ball carrier's rear was the only real way of yeah. turning all of this dice around. Yeah, because how do you stop yeah. him? Like, how do you how do you how I, do you I, stop? I don't him think you can this? stop a strength four ghoul from there. Not no, with this plan. No. Even no. if you were inside the cage, I didn't think you could. <laughs> It, yeah. is, it is possible he's resigned himself to his fate at this point. I mean, yeah. if the hit on that stand firm white had worked, you could have got ball contact. But even then, you know, a one die with the the because it didn't have tack guard. A one die with this ghoul, which he's done a two die, but that would have been a one die. Yeah. Uh, even if the white was removed, a two die if it wasn't, and then a simple two die with the strength four, and it was home. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. That was the kind of safe move. But he, he was not. He was no longer in a situation where the safe move was the. No, was it was safe but suicidal. It, it, yeah. it was such long odds of stopping this score yeah. that you had to try and come into the rear of that not closed cage. It, it surely was the only way to turn this game around. Yeah. I we, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to put that down to Davo, pretty much giving up, which yeah. is just not like him. He's such a good tournament player. He sees that chance that has to be taken, and he goes for it. Yeah, we but saw that yesterday in the BBSL game, yeah. where he said, no, I need to both score and turn him over here. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, his his attitude towards CCL round one, though, has it has drawn off a little bit, uh, given all the... The bad, yeah. the bad well, games he has had in general. He's kind of, he's kind of pretty, uh, pretty nihilistic about about playoffs well, and CCL. I, I, I am amazed. Um, I'm amazed. I just, you know, a player of Andy's quality. I, I clearly, clearly, the mood has got to him in this this game, and I, I get it. It's been brutal. That first half was incredibly bad dice for him. But yep. yeah, I. Yeah, that should be automatic, shouldn't it? To switch gears oh. and go for the uh, go for the risky yeah. play there. I think. Yeah. But um, you know, he would, he, you know, he, he went for the safe ball contact, and we all like a bit of safe ball contact. But he definitely should have gone for the rear entry, shouldn't he? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Well played, Jim. Well played. <laughs> Getting yourself ready for backlash tonight, eh? Yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah. Calcium. Uh, I, you know, I thought you played really a solid game. Um, you know, that missed three plus with reroll was was pretty brutal on you. But I, I thought Davo played really well, mate. 
I really do. Yeah, I think he did as I, well. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you don't want to hear that, but I really do think he played incredibly. Uh, and ballsily. Um, I got to go and back I, and watch that. I don't even know I the thought, results. I thought that was, that was Davo at his very best. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I do think, I do think, without being too critical, Calcium, um, you know, when the deep kick came, um, because Dark Elves yeah. aren't that fast, they could only yeah. go into one place, which is where they ended up going. So I would have tried to get all of the team there so that they couldn't go there. Um, yeah. And instead, they, you know, there was a bit of a hole there and they did get there. So I think that was maybe a bit of a mistake by Calcium to not, you know, dedicate yeah. everything after trying that. But, you know, Calcium's ogre was terrible. <laughs> it was. It was. The cal- I mean, the ogre really let you down. But I, I was screaming on that term, why is Calcium blitzing forward? Why is he moving pieces forward? He needs to stabilize this more. Yeah. I mean, the turn afterwards, I thought you had a good plan. It took a lot of three pluses, but you got that ball forwards and moderately safe. Yeah. Though it did take that final dodge and two plus, two plus, or else the ball carrier was getting served. Yes. Um, but it, but, but again, I, I the ogre I, could have just two plus it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll say calcium as I'm feeling merciful today and I won't make an SFL finals comment about, uh, about your playing a Blood Bowl. Uh, yeah, but it was look, turns, it was yeah, it was also yeah, yeah minute turns definitely a factor. I get that, mate. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it was a cracking game of Blood Bowl, really, really entertaining, and you were a big part of that too. Yeah, calcium. I said I wouldn't mention you losing to me in the SFL finals, so it's yes. cool. We're good. I wouldn't mention the fact that you lost to me in uh, the fifth uh, championship <laughs> of the SFL. I won't mention it though. <laughs> it's good that you haven't, Skuro. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're man- focused. We're I was really scared for a moment there, Skuro, that you were going to mention the fact that Calcium no. lost you in the final of the fifth season of SFL. <laughs> no. And why would you kick a man when like he's that. as down as Calcium really should be after that? <laughs> <Never would do. laughs> yeah, some would say Calcium created the SFL meme in general by, by letting me ascend to being a two time SFL champion. <laughs> Ascent, really? I, I think it's probably somewhat more sideways. I'm not that tall. <laughs> oh dear. And now it's pretty much over. Now, now this is. I mean, he shouldn't give up. He should go for this somehow because, like, there is a chance. But you know, yeah. Now, now Calcium, I think the giving up is is yes. totally understandable. Yeah, absolutely. Calcium, if you do just want to pop into chat and drop in the sort of word that means Jim can't upload this and monetize it on YouTube, <laughs> no one's gonna blame you. <laughs> No one is going to blame you, not for a heartbeat, mate. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> this is just how I recruit people for the SFL. I heal my way into everyone wanting to take me down. It's worked thus far. I haven't won since the meme started. Oh, I, I thought you were just pointing out that with you as champion, it's probably fairly easy to win. But, no, uh, no, 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 we have other great champions like Tom Schniz and Gdanik. Ah, Gdanik's good at Blood Bowl. No, yeah, Tom's good at Blood Bowl too, I'm just <laughs> Tom's pretty good at Blood Bowl, yeah, and Gdanik's yeah, no, pretty good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go, Andy, let's see some big cars. Uh, do well, look, if, he drive, if he can drive this home in two more, if he can get it home on 13, there's still a chance. He is still removing these undead at a rate of knots. Yeah, They're not yeah, all going to regen. Um, in fact, you know, so far there's three that haven't. There's a KO as well. It wasn't quite short numbers on the pitch. Uh, he did even have one on the bench. It's a little bit depressing, but it, it's, there is a possible. There is a route out here. In a way, Muppet, yeah. The funny thing is, like, out of these two teams, if I've got a wizard versus Andy's team, I'm quite confident I can win because he only, he's only got the two tackle. Um, the only thing is the, like, the mental aspect of I really wouldn't want to lose against him. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a yeah. lot happier losing against uh, Ducky. <laughs> but yeah, yes, for I any that haven't need... picked up on the subplot here, the winner of this does go on to, uh, to face uh, someone called, I believe, Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Stretch your navka. Oh boy, that's correct. Yeah, so um, so I'd really like to see some big cars in coming now from Devo, but uh, I, I actually I actually ran that line through Google Translate, and it says this chocolate doesn't taste like rabbit anus. It's a weird <laughs> slogan, but but it's uh, but but it makes sense. Like I wouldn't want chocolate that does taste like rabbit anus. So uh, you know, fair play oh. to them. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's quite that's quite a nice. I'll, I'll, that's why I was checking them out. I was thinking like this guy's dead, which doesn't really matter. This guy's missed this game. Would have really liked the strength four to be out, but he's not. It's a fair point, Rando. <laughs> Stored Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah, I've got Jimmy Fantastic on. Jimmy Fantastic. Yep, yep. I opened myself up to that one. Uh, everyone's jumping yeah, on. Yeah, no, the, the strength four is coming straight back. The uh, the blodge ghoul is, of course. <laughs> Niggled, so uh, that won't be back. Mm -hmm. But he's got a lot of other particularly ordinary ghouls. So, Ducky going exactly what I would do here, just trying to put a wall up that slows this Chaos team. No real care about anything else, he just needs to slow them. Yep. Yeah. And do it and get on the side that, of this me here, can't he? Like, this even is that dodge did Yeah, it is. Didn't, it, it just slows him by a turn. He can get around the side, but then it's probably still... I mean, he can do it and score in two, and that's what I would be looking to try and do. Yeah, he's but if he if he doesn't really put the the go for it in, it's going to be scoring three, and that's probably not good enough. Well, scoring two would involve scoring this turn, which isn't happening. So <laughs> no, I mean score next turn. Oh, oh I see, I see, I see. What two saying. from the position we're in <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, turn, and enough. then another one being the first one, yeah, and then a second one making a total of seven. three. He is move seven, so he just needs to get to the four, four squares in. So it's not hard to get that far forward. To score in two for the second half, you'd have to go back in time. Uh, but to score two in this drive, oh, yes, it would be like turn, which obviously isn't happening. I think that's the wrong route through. This we may just be seeing an anger attempt to chip a mummy here. Yeah. Which I'd be. Okay. Well, no, fight, fights all fight. That's which correct. Jimmy, Jimmy would obviously Jimmy love. Two turn um, in the drive. I stand by my statement. Okay, I was being facetious, but I stand I by did mean, now. I did mean two from this position. Uh, <laughs> I know, so I, did, yes, I know. Did that. I was trolling PC, but I do I stand by my statement. <laughs> now, I just think that was a, an anger hit on that mummy. Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't help him get the touchdown. Yeah. It doesn't help him score in two from this position. Nope. Yeah. Um, so, now there's not a lot of hope. Now you go down this side, but without knocking down the mummy in the way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. You basically just base the mummy, I guess. Well, and I mean, even if you'd killed that mummy, you didn't create a hole you could push the ball through. So there was yeah. just nothing to be gained by going for it. It was a stand for a mummy. It was never moving from that spot. Yeah. <laughs> what you needed there was to knock it over and not claw palm. And even then, you left dodges, yeah. which... You had to, you had to that... knock him over. You had to, you had to like, KO or cast him. You had to remove him and not pile on. That's what yep. you had to do. <laughs> yeah. Or you could have moved the girt, the warrior to where you hit from and hit from the central square, but then it had to be a pow. Yes. Uh, and then a non removal was fine because that yes. white's knocked over, so there was a route through. But as it is, you've just shat the bed. Um, you can run the, the blockless beastman down the pitch. Uh, that gives you a ball out. Um, Yep, and he's got another one here, so he's, he's, he, you know you can get a second scoring threat. Yeah, you can put a couple of scoring threats in. Okay, he is going to go for it with his his speed and yeah. see if this potato works. I think that's right. Yeah, like he had to get into this square, didn't he? Like he could have gone further if he'd not this. Uh, he's now in range with two go for it. He can stabilise there, and there is some pieces that can come and support it. I think yeah. he has to just do that. Warriors, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's not so bad. One, two, three, four, like five. Yeah. There. You could have. Yeah. You could have gone for a GFI, couldn't even then screen that all off. I quite like that. The problem with where he has gone with his claw. I mean, that doesn't help, does it? But the one that's tagged the mummy is because the tackle frenzy doesn't have guard. It's it's very easy to push it off. Yeah. Uh, free that mummy, but um, you know it's a one so die. That's probably all right for Ducky at this point. I'm not sure he really cares. He's got okay, so the touchdown is on for next turn, which needed to be. But I felt instead of taking that mummy, if we took the other one on, we'd have been in a stronger position. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, that said, there's still work for, for Ducky to do to have anything uh, get in front of this or be relevant to that touchdown. So Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. It, it worked all right. Nice. I mean, it's, it's still some decent play from Davo that's led to a reasonable position. It just, the chip on the mummy looked very... Yeah. 
This is the big hit, isn't it? Oh, it's relevant to everything it. else he did that turn. That's the problem with it. I mean, yes, it's relevant. He, he removed a mummy, but it's irrelevant to the drive, to the plan of scoring, to where every other piece went, and that usually means it, it's not necessarily the right choice. Yeah. Do you just ignore? Do you just dodge away from tackle? I guess you do. I guess you blitz with a strength four, get in the way, and then dodge these two guys away. He's just blocking, I think. Uh, I guess also uh, as well, right? Ducky's thinking about next round. He's all like he doesn't want to expose his strength four to getting claw from, does he? I guess that's yeah. That's, that's yeah, a I think that's as well. it. Ducky's got to think he's going to win this game. A uh, fair mere too. I think one of the things I would go to my deathbed swearing is that whilst sometimes I am a little critical, a little harsh, perhaps if I see play I don't love, I am incredibly neutral when I try and do com comms work. Uh, I'm not on anybody's side, even if I really like the coach. If I think what they do isn't good, I will try and say so. And that includes Jimmy Fantastic. When he's done good plays, I've said so. When he's done things I don't think are good, I'm not frightened of that. <laughs> Thanks. Um... <laughs> I'm bribable. <laughs> but, but yeah, but yeah, Finley, yeah. I mean, that is why I like having someone commentating, obviously, because then I can I can turn off the camera and not have to speak, and it, I can like you know, f well, not not only focus on the game because that helps. Like, it is hard to talk to chat and everything yeah. and, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But you can also like if it does if you do get a bit moody, you don't have to like you know try yeah. and hide it or whatever. You can just you can just look away and fucking you know whatever, just deal with it off. off yeah, my off my first chalice games. game this season. Um, which luckily won't be my last, there will be one more. Um, it was the first time I've cast myself whilst playing in the Chalice, and I may not do that again. A couple of people commented that I was, I quote, the, the immortal Dimmy G, whose obviously opinion is of great importance to me. Um, he says it's the closest he's seen me to tilt. And I don't think I was particularly close to tilt, but I certainly was a lot more focused and concentrated, a lot more, you know, looking at my own feelings and things than I am when I'm just casting and playing for fun. Uh, I don't think I've talk. ever cared about a Blood Bowl game that I didn't stream, but when I do stream, I do. I find the same thing. Like, I don't really tilt out, yeah. but I definitely get frustrated because you're, vo you're vocalizing your response to the game and exactly. you wouldn't yeah. do it exactly. playing alone. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, exactly. th that's something I need to think about is whether I want to expose myself like that. I mean, there is the restraining order to think about in terms of that. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no way Andy's making these GFIs, by the way. The way this no, goes. <laughs> I, I think he is. I think we're going to get yeah. an exciting last three turns. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah? Well. Is that what you think, PC? <laughs> he still got a reroll. Yeah. So a naked two fuck. <laughs> and he makes it. Great. We have a game on. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we have a game on. Yeah. Just going to take the Davo cam. Okay, he's gone from face touching to merely downturned mouth and resignation that this is still probably over but he'll give it his best <laughs> I like that he's pulled himself back together after that disastrous non-attempt to stop the uh, undead drive for 2-0 yeah yeah I think good I luck to him Andy I genuinely one of Blood Bowl's nice guys and a fabulous caster I, I'd quite like them both to win this because I'd like them both to face Jim and knock him out <laughs> but obviously there has to be one winner and one loser um, and we'll know in very short order who that is. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That's like they do on telly, isn't it? That sort of link. Yeah, well done. Mummy stays out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got 10 players for Ducky. Again, very low quality. So, Jim, are we going to see him push down the wing for 3-1 here, do you think? We're going to see a Dakar now with only three turns, I think. Okay, look, it definitely isn't that horrible name for the withdrawn offence <laughs> if there's no attempt at offence. Then the correct <laughs> term is a turtle. He is just going to try and put it in a wall of defensiveness and turtle. Turtle. I thought there were tortoises in the UK. No, the tur turtles and tortoises are different. I, I know, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're not I've been been ninja turtles in the UK, though. They're teenage mutant hero turtles because we couldn't have ninjas because they were too violent. Yeah, the Daily Mail wouldn't have it. The mums would complain. I thought you were about to say because they're too foreign. <laughs> no, that was genuinely... <laughs> Those was weird genuinely Southeast Asian karate guys. <laughs> that may have been the Ducky's case. Ducky's exposed to um, blitz here. I hate this out from Ducky. Yeah, that's. it's not great. There's he too many on this line of scrimmage that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, he deserves uh, to get I'd have just put on Literally, I'd have put one zombie in front of the three on the line of scrimmage. 
Yeah. Uh, I'd have put two covering the rest of the line of scrimmage and everything else would have been in a blitz defence. Yeah. yeah. Well, instead he gets a high kick and catches it. <laughs> yeah, of course he does. But I think this is overly rowdy. Um, and, and although it worked, it doesn't mean it was something I think was good. Yeah. I'd have maybe, if I were Davo, I would have maybe risked the... Uh, wrist one square up on the on the quick snap because it's not like ducky's gonna suck in and base everything anyway yeah yeah i think, I think you're probably right yeah and he does need to get those squares he's got three turns to turn this over and take this to yeah. overtime yeah yeah that's right put a biscuit yeah the change between hero turtles and yeah also they didn't have nunchucks yeah as somebody said there uh randall carlison they didn't have nunchucks so uh mike Michelangelo just like had a pizza or something instead of yeah. He was yeah. He uh, they changed that and they changed that in America too because I think too many kids got whacked in the face by nunchucks. Oops. Yes, nunchucks possibly the least dangerous of all ninja weapons turned out to be yeah. the ones that kids instead were hurting each other with. Instead, they gave him this weird grappling hook without a fucking hook. It was it was bizarre. Yeah. I mean, the guy the guy with two extremely sharp daggers. That's fine. Let the kids play with those. But two sticks linked by a chain? Absolutely not. You know, they might positively bruise themselves. <laughs> yes, it was dangerous because they would hit themselves, not other people. That's the thing, Kill. They would yeah. try and do the yeah. tricks and stuff, you know. And then... Yeah, spinning them around and catching them and then actually hurting themselves and knocking their own eyes out. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is just Darwin's way of teaching us that that kid doesn't need to make it, but... <laughs> oh, the the accuracy of the ninjutsu of the teenage mutant ninja turtles was never was never being questioned. Not, right not a, not a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, surely ninjas would would learn them if they it would would learn how to fight with them if they were going to go on a secret mission to China. <laughs> well, I mean, in another example of that that you're probably not old enough for, I'm afraid, Jimmy. There was a, a cartoon show when I was a lad called G Force, which I loved. Until I had to work out, well, this doesn't make any sense, why not? And it turns out we bought a Japanese manga of uh, five teenagers who would all have different cars that then all built together into a huge robot that would fight the evil thing of that episode. And we'd see them all join together. And then instead of the fight, we'd cut to a small robot who said, and then they won! <laughs> because they weren't allowed to put all of the extreme violence onto BBC <laughs> Kids Telly. So you'd get all the backstory, you'd get all the cool robot, and just as they are about to have the huge fight, you'd cut to this tiny cute robot that never appeared in the Japanese version, of course, and hence never really spoke to the kids that were, you know, the five teenagers that were doing all the fighting, who would then recap how they won. Yeah. It no was incredible is... that they got away with that. Yeah. No but one's arguing that. Yeah, a legend. Yeah. I don't think they ever lost Milo, no. Of course not. Yeah, but like Japan had wars with China and stuff, didn't they? So they might have been going to kill some Chinese dude. So they might be. Yeah. Uh, they might learn how to use their nunchucks so that they could go along and go, look, I'm a little farmer, dude. Do, 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 and then shank him. And also, ninjas. Ninjas wearing all black like that, I believe, I could be wrong, but I read on the internet, so therefore it must be true. And I will stay with utmost confidence this is definitely 100% true. The reason that they were, wore all black like that, that why, why that is the image of a ninja, is it was always stagehands in plays would, would wear that so that you wouldn't be able to see them. And, and then they yeah. were playing the ninjas. There you go. That's that's still true today, is that stagehands in theatre wear all black so that they can come on during between scenes and change scenery and not be visible. There you go. Well, we're uh, really, really giving Davo his due on this defence. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just waiting for something exciting to happen. This yeah, is the fault turn. Know. Yeah. Um, you know, we're going to see how he breaks through this line and how much comes forward. It's not this turn; it's the next turn that is the yeah. vital one. Scurry. He's basically just got to base everyone up here and send yep. his two threats down, and then see who rolls yep. the worst dice. Yeah, I mean, lots this of, is yeah, exactly. Lots and lots of threat here to tie everything up, and then he needs to push with enough into the backfield to create some legitimate threat that uh, Ducky needs to hide from. Quite like that. Uh, Gary, yeah, for that I'm not saying show. G Force wasn't glorious, mate. I'm just saying that in retrospect, it made no sense, and we were robbed of the most important part of that cartoon. Quite like tagging him here because I think I like I like going for the tags here as uh, as Dave or just because like you know, Arch Two is shit, isn't it? <laughs> you know? So every guy you tag just makes it that much harder for Ducky. And yeah, Ducky's yep. going to swing over here now, as near as hard as he can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there were even ways of doing a cheeky four-plus handoff to that ghoul and just running the hell away up the field. 
But I think it's it's even better just to turtle there to find a uh, a stable point with enough things around it that um, even if you knock it over, getting the ball back in the rain and getting it all the way down to scoring a touchdown is tricky to put it mildly. See, look at that that guy there who goes there. If, if he if he tag, he could have tagged him without GFIs. I really like that tag, and that, yep. that shows everything. He gets the power here, which is big. Yeah, that's a huge, huge power right there. Um, if it wasn't a power, there, oh, there were some real problems it created. Yeah. Now we can just push him off. This is a bit tricky now. Though. He's got to push him here, hasn't he? Yeah, a tiny he's got, he's bit. He's relying on this dodge now. The way he pushed there, I didn't... I didn't oh, yeah, I that's, that's a little saucy, but... One, two... Three, four, five. It's not easy still. It really isn't easy. And he has got this dodge. We can put the reroll on this dodge as well. That shores everything up, doesn't it? I remember, Davo doesn't have to score next turn, but he does have to have enough legitimate pressure or threat towards the ball that it can create a fail, yep. or that there is nowhere it can realistically go where he cannot scoop it up and get it to a scoring threat the turn after. Ducky uh, needing big, to reroll. Big a turn dog. coming up for Davo here. <laughs> what are you playing at, Jim? <laughs> Now it's just a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's terrible. There is a very bad five plus four plus for two die on the ball, um, and even then you need a power before it to make it work. But it's it's there. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. be amazed okay. to see someone of Andy's quality go for that. Um, hang on, can I see anything? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There could even be a three plus three plus three plus two plus two plus for two die, <laughs> uh, which if you're prepared to pump a reroll in is slightly safer with the tackle mighty blow piling on killer piece. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Get this, get this. Guy. You need a one. Di you need a one yeah. die to just move that skeleton. You don't necessarily need to kill it. He's just blocked it though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, okay, there's still a way. Yep. So if you take down the skeleton with the uh, this chaos warrior, it looks to be activating now, or the one that's just stretched its thighs. <laughs> He's the, didn't that warrior just stand up? Yeah, yeah. He he, he he can't block with him. This guy can block him, but it doesn't really help that much. It's it's tricky. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because that's now the way out, Jim. One, yeah, but it's, two, he's still three, got a four, four plus. Five, like he's got a, he's got a, seven, eight. He's, he's three got a plus, there. four he's plus, three, three plus, three, four, three. Yeah, it's it's still horrible. Like, that's what I meant. Like obviously it does help, but it doesn't help that much. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't it doesn't solve the problem by any means. You're right. Yeah. Um, but if he gets that hit, there's still. I mean, he could take out the zombie, but if it fails, the skeleton. Uh, but if it fails it's horrific but it, it makes it a lot better if it doesn't uh, then you've got a three two three four five six seven eight that then makes a three three two two so the chaos warrior next to the tackle claw palm monster knocks over that he's just stood uh, up. zombie in front of it he's just stood up he stood up yeah has he yeah what Gad gadages yeah ages <laughs> ages has just stood up no, no, so Gadadja. Yeah. Gadadja's uh, hits the zombie in front of it. Yeah. And then the. And then Shepard uses Aegis to hit the zombie to the side of Aegis. Aegis is and just. Then, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then yeah, yeah. Valarm is 3 plus, and as long as the second zombie skeleton goes down, 3 plus, 3 plus over the yep, corner yep. of Tumble Crawler, 2 2 pluses, 2 die on the ball. Yep, yeah, there you go, that's the play, yeah. Now, it doesn't recover the ball, but at least it might knock it over and give you some hope. Yep. That's what I'd be playing for here. Yep. Took us a long time to get there, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that works. that works. In fairness, I had gotten there like five minutes ago. I just didn't want to talk over PC, but <laughs> let it be known, I had that play back pocket. I was what, reading the one that I was explaining for several minutes to Jim. <laughs> you got it the first time I explained it, or are you going to claim you got it beforehand? <laughs> I was just reading about the samurai dudes having wars with non-samurai dudes. Okay, but he's now got four seconds. If he doesn't start pulling something here, this is just over anyway. Oh, he's got some pieces in range. That's That doesn't do it. Come on, pull this move. 
No, that's the wrong play, but never mind. The, the warrior can still come. Okay, that's... Yeah. I think my plan was better, I'm afraid. Of death, of old age, but I'm not afraid that my plan was better. It just was. Okay, this... The problem with this is that why wouldn't the white just run forwards? Yeah, well, because he's made this dodge... Okay, yeah, that that helps. Needs to go for it as well. So two, I still prefer my plan. Yep. My plan ended up with two three pluses, two two pluses, and two die on the ball. Now th there were some issues with it. You were on the sideline having hit, but I would also have pommed it just because I could and because I've got pom. And pom's great. I love it. <laughs> he can he can just fully screen here, can't he? Ooh, a little bit risky now. A bit risky. Is it like is. There's. The, I mean, the white can come because it's not tagged, and then the ghouls can come afterwards if it works. Even though they're dodging off tackle, he's got. Re, he's got a reroll. I, I, I don't. I really don't like it. I, I would like one more, so he's got the full screen because th this 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 guy can move five and he could have full screen. So now there's going to be a chance here. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not. not I, I'm with you too, Jim, but. I'm, I'm captain positive this time, remember? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not terrible. It's, it's not it's not terrible. Time. And you know, moving that zombie in Hopefully locks that up really nicely. That's good. Yep. So yeah, he can come here or something. There, whatever. There, yeah, that's there. Any any square really is good for him, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, that that locks it a tiny bit more. Now, whichever one the Chaos Warrior takes down on a one die, there's still no route through. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. Now the ghouls don't even have to come. It's We're done. Yeah, yeah, he can just literally... He could have literally just ended the turn then, couldn't he? Yeah. End the turn, man. <laughs> but it, it, you know, this, this saves him from hits, so it's still worth doing. Yes. And now we are looking at some extraordinarily difficult dice to make anything happen for Andy. Yep. I see rerolls coming here. He's not saving them for overtime. No, he's not. Wow. I thought you, you re-roll that, don't you? Whew. And with the just the, I mean, the best built, killiest Chaos team I've seen for a long time. This is a really super team. Lacking only maybe, as we said, perhaps some stand firm, but oh, where'd you fit it? Perhaps dodge on the ball carrier, but you need a double to take it. Perhaps a backup ball carrier, but instead he's got that lovely frenzy tackle with sort of luxury beastman. I mean, this Chaos team was just beautiful. And uh, Ducky really just trashed it. <laughs> I mean, when I say trashed it, it's only killed one piece, and that was a relevant rookie beastman. But he's in that <laughs> the second half of the first half, it just got murderized. Yeah. Yeah, the God Fireball. I mean, the God Fireball. Yeah, yeah. You know, Dave was a bit sloppy before that, right? His, his drive was sloppy. In fairness, yeah. his drive was sloppy. Um, yeah. He, he, he greeted a reroll to go for damage. He left that strength for you know up the up the zombie rear. in perfect range. Yeah. Yeah. The, the ducky turned down, and then his kind of what's it called, stabilisation turn after that did leave him exposed to the wizard, whichever way you It did, it. it did, yeah, it did. Um, I mean, particularly once he took that zombie out, you, you didn't need to be in that tight a pack. But, yeah, it, it, yeah, it did leave him vulnerable to that fireball. Um, and the fireball came, like a like a bolt of no. <laughs> like all of Andy's chalice dice from the last seven seasons all wrapped up in one fireball of doom. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was definitely, it was definitely, obviously, a fireball from the gods. But um, you know, he, he allowed it to happen a little bit. You know, to be fair, he, he exposed himself to that fireball. I, I, I quite like going for the fireball. Yeah, I mean, I, at the time, I, I was iffy. I thought a bolt was a better way to take that bull carrier down at some point. But I mean, it, it needed to be reasonably lucky, and instead, it was just really really lucky it <laughs> yeah, was as I said yeah. 1 in 16 to knock all 4 over yeah. let alone the fact that it chipped the uh, the ball carrier who then wasn't on the field even though the apoth worked I, I think it was a badly hurt so of course it worked yeah 
So one, one and, of the uh, wasn't an absolute dicing. That fireball was insane. No, dice, that yeah. that fireball was insane. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, as I said about you know Gary and when uh, my my goblins got incredibly lucky against him. He did fail a one in thirty six, but he had already moved three elves that would have mitigated that risk. So sometimes yes, it's an incredible stroke of luck, but we slightly allowed that luck to be as ruinous as it is. And on that stabilizing turn, by packing, you know, four really good pieces together, it did invite the fireball. And that fireball did its job. Um, that is going to happen sometimes. Well played, Ducky. Very well played. There were, yeah, certainly some things at times that I didn't like from both sides, but I thought it was just a lot more that I loved. Some really good play from both, with the odd thing you thought, well, that's not at the level we expected. But... <laughs> Yeah, a godlike fireball, some really consistent play from both sides throughout. Um, I can't quite call it a deserved victory because that huge slice of luck really gave you such a leg up into that. Uh, but I didn't like the way Andy tried to defend your 2 nil drive. Um, I think he, he was on a bit of tilt there. So, yeah, um, don't watch the VOD. Um, <laughs> that's about all I've got to say a great game of Blood Bowl I guess probably because of what I thought about that 2-0 drive and how it wasn't really well defended I am going to say I think the better the better coach won on the day but that's taken nothing away from Davo who I think is a fantastic coach yeah yeah, it was interesting, wasn't it? Um, you know, we could talk about it all day, but let's not. Let's wrap up the YouTube video. Congratulations, Ducky. Commiserations, Andy. Thank you very much for joining me, Purple Chest and Skuro Mezzo. Lovely fellas. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.